Hello everyone, this is Tormuse, and today I'm picking up where I left off in Franbo. Franbo. Mids are. I don't know. It feels weird putting this this emphasis on, on the first syllable. What's her name anyway? Uh, we we left out a bit of a cliffhanger at uh, Imabuka's lair and entering her heart, whatever that means. Um. Yeah, like it's, it's don't really don't, don't really know what to expect from this. This message, why does this keep popping up? Go away. Um, yeah, still got that crayon from the beginning. This the, the knife, which has served many purposes over the course of the game. Anyway, um, I don't know. I'm experiencing a bit of trepidation, but let's go down there. <clears throat> okay. Maybe there's more to this. <laughs> I should have known, I suppose. Okay. Um, Alright. I, I mean, at this point, we're sort of accustomed to uh, to weirdness in this game. Let's, let's go. Talk to the weird baby-headed person. Oh, that creature's body's made out of baby faces. <laughs> the bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your friends with it? Oh, is this... Okay, knitting needle. This is, um, so this is the skeletal nurse from the very beginning of the game. <clears throat> okay. What? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, hey, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay. Guess we're. Guess we'll take a number. Let's take a number. I hope I got. A, I get a good one. Number seven. <coughs> I wonder how long I must wait for this ticket. They listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, I feel like I'm back in Oswald Asylum. But that can't be, or can it? I, I mean, Oswald Asylum is where we saw the skeletal nurse with the knitting needles and so on. <clears throat> so... It, it does, I mean, lay out kind of looks like that. I was also asylum. Okay, well, um, it seems I can go to the left, or there's a door here. Um, all things being equal, um, let's, let's, let's just go to the left. Let's see what's over here. <coughs> Alright, I, I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ha, I've been waiting, waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. <laughs> oh, lovely. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem, excuse me, everyone. But, sorry, ahem, excuse me, everyone. But is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. <laughs> By doing that, you could also help us all. But why, don't, but why don't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye has been blinded. Red eye? Red, green, and blue? <clears throat> I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be patient. Neither can I. I I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Um, okay, then. The clock is ticking out rather fast. It seems to be stuck at 12. There's, it's showing number one there still. Just a skull with a spinal column and no other bones. <laughs> um, okay. 
very strange imagery. Like, I don't even know what any of this is supposed to represent. If it's, if any of it is like symbolic of anything, or <laughs> if it's just some, they're just doing random stuff. <clears throat> anyway, um, dialogue options. Do you feel pain or well go by? Let's go with, do you feel pain? Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. <laughs> how can I do that or I'll go no by? How can I do that? How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. <laughs> uh, impossible to talk to you or I'll go no by. Um, I mean, saying impossible to talk to you feels a, little, a bit rude, but the, other, the only alternative is to say I'm going to have, so let's pick this one soon too, because maybe it'll get more, me more dialogue. <laughs> Ark, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Oh, of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it all. You've only noticed for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Helps to understand, or I don't care by. Uh, that helps to understand. Well, it helps to, to better understand each other? We understand each other very well, with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all then? Or I have to go by. <laughs> uh, who sees all then? Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows, knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait, because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Huh. Alright, thanks for nothing. Can't look at the things on the wall. This must be the number display. Huh. I have number seven. It'll take ages to get there. Must get a better number. Like number two. Well. Didn't the three-eyed guy say that he has number two? Or, wait, no, no, maybe it was this guy. I've already lost track. Um. Who said they had number two? I've already forgotten. Shoot. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> That might have been a clue as to what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> Even though they said that they've been waiting for months. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, wait, was fun at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Wait. I think my horn won't grow again. Grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Okay, it was this guy. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because he sees it all. Yeah, there isn't a separate th th option to like click on the ticket. So, uh, and there seems there's no new dialogue. Nothing about from clicking on the clock either. Yeah, it seems there's nothing else to interact with. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I mean, unless I can, they're willing to trade. Uh, it probably is nothing else to do here. I mean, I can try. What if I try going through the door? She's probably gonna stop me. It's locked but doesn't have a keyhole. Maybe somebody has to open it from the inside. Maybe the nurse can open it. Is there anything new to say? <clears throat> Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Okay, it's the same. <laughs> okay, what if I hand her the number? work? Okay. Can't do that? Okay. <coughs> oh. What if I try to trade numbers with this guy? You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Uh, exchange your tickets question mark or give me your ticket. Um, let's put the phrase as a question, I guess. Will it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. <laughs> when she does a little curtsy animation, it, it, it's um, 
I mean, it, it's natural to want to compare this this game to Alice in Wonderland, and the uh, the fact that she has a picture of her friend Alice makes that connection a little more explicit. And every time she does the curtsy animation, all I can think of is is the um, uh, uh, the, the, the Queen of Hearts saying uh, curtsy while you're thinking. It saves time. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Presumably based on the assumption that you must curtsy, curtsying is inevitable, so curtsy while you're thinking. Anyway, moving right along. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. <coughs> anything else only give me my ticket when you find out about my illness okay well I've run out of things to interact with can I like I don't know stab him and say oh hey I found out what your illness is you've been stabbed <laughs> <coughs> as grizzly as it sounds that might actually be the solution <clears throat> I should do this okay fine <coughs> answers in the book. Mm. <clears throat> I suppose I can trade numbers with anyone else. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, really, no, I'm not interested. Okay. I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? Side number seven. Huh, that's not very convenient for me. I'm sorry, but no. Number seven. I'd like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just clicking random things now. <laughs> Can I write on the ticket to make the 7 look more like a 2? No? Okay. It's worth a try. I still have this thing, even though I've like already done what I'm already done with it basically. <coughs> hmm. Can I go back up the ladder? Maybe Mabuka knows what, what to ails him. <clears throat> Reach from above. Get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Uh, wake up Mabuka or goodbye. Um, let me try waking her up. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake, wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka to you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? The crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's not crazy, or bye-bye. Uh, I'll say he's not crazy. <laughs> Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, uh, so you know him. I assume you've been into Etherista. Horror place, I say. Too dazzling. I I won to go there? Oops, someone didn't run this through spell check. Well, maybe they did. I guess one is a word. Someone didn't proofread. Anyway, I, I want to go there. <clears throat> well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. You don't scare me a bit. Um, hush, hush. Wabuko's dreaming about you. Grinding with teeth your putrid skull, drinking your tears full of fear. She grins while the blood of your eyes pleases her soul. Oh boy. Can I go back? Okay, so I can go back into the into the house here. I wonder if there's something else I need to bring from here that will 
help with the number. <clears throat> Back of the giant cat. What a big cat. Um, trying to think, like, okay. The game seems to be giving me a clue that I need to find out what ails the guy with the number two ticket so that I'll be willing to exchange tickets. Um, Oh well, yeah, never found out what's what's up with this. A touchtone phone. Hmm. Like I never found any numbers or anything that might be that looked like a. <laughs> those aren't the normal touchtone sounds that those those numbers make, but whatever. in the bathtub here. Um, since we saw what presum presumably the hijacker that he alluded to. <clears throat> you took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? Oh, okay. I guess that's all the dialogue you have to say. Can I can I wash the blood off the knife? Okay, so if I wanted okay, to figure out how to diagnose, the, like I I went to talk to Mabuka because so I was saying, aha, Mabuka sees all, so maybe she knows what ails the guy. But no such luck. I'm guessing there's no new dialogue here. I bet you Amazon takes your teeth out as well. Well, you gave, took my baby teeth, it's insane, isn't it? <laughs> This is this is the room that we started in in this section. Um, like I, I've already tried clicking on everything. Oh well, yeah, there's Alice again. So it's all the same. Um, just kind of looking around for inspiration here. Is there any, like, I don't even know if the thing that I need is in this area. Through the looking glass and what Alice found there. Today. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble, here you go. <clears throat> can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? Yeah, I don't even remember what voice I gave the eyeball. Oh well. He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes. Crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm very I'm at a very problematic point in my life. <laughs> uh -huh. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible, I really trusted her. 
I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thirsta and be happy. Hmm. Lovely pain. So profound. <laughs> well. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Well, there we go. Go now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. I've cried enough. A bottle filled with sadness. Anything else to say? Hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. Okay, well... So yeah, coming back up there uh, did turn out to be the thing to do. How about that? frozen. Is this thing working? Sorry, bear with me. Okay, just think, I was just making sure the stream is still working. It. I don't know. This thing is freezing. It's 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 just acting weird. I don't know. Twitch is Twitch, Twitch is being weird. OBS is being weird. Moving right along. I hope the stream is still running properly. Anyway, let's give the tears to to the dude here. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Ha ha ha! Lovely. Let's see. Ah. He just drinks it anyway. Tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Ooh. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. <laughs> oh. This must be the number display. Okay, well, they're serving number two now. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction to your sickness. <laughs> You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds, in their minds instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. <laughs> Are you insane? Call us. Okay, I guess this is, this is where we use the phone now. It's like, which of course inspires the question, well, but why Why would I call you when I'm standing right here? We can just talk, but whatever. <laughs> That's uh, kind of the nature of the game, I suppose. Probably don't actually need to screenshot it. I hit the screenshot button anyway. 0122121776. That's probably easy enough to remember. Why is there such a long delay? There's a weirdly long delay before it plays the screenshot sound effect. Oh well. <clears throat> but why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because now I'm waiting for you. No, now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, all right. I'll go make the call then. Here and I go down here and I go over to the phone and wait. What was the number again? Zero two one. It's really not insane, just confused. Oh, I thought I could pull it up again. <sighs> okay. Great, we need to. Squint at it in teeny weeny vision here. Okay, zero one two two one two one seven two seven six. Oh, psh, she just has it in her hand anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment? Mm, it's Frambeau. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes, I, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Oh, okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. <laughs> yeah, it's feeling a bit like pointless busy work, but eh. Shall I give her the... Oh, we don't have the, the ticket number yet. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Is the door going to open now? But, I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. <laughs> Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. All right, then. <laughs> Uh-oh. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? Well... This Dr. Romer now. <clears throat> Romer? Romer? I don't know. You're Romer, aren't you? Romer, whatever, whatever, whoever his name is, however you pronounce it. I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in a third reality for long periods of time. I am Romer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. <clears throat> Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What'd you do to Dr. Dearn? <clears throat> I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. <clears throat> you are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. <clears throat> You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Well. <clears throat> uh, no, it, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. <clears throat> okay then. I didn't kill my parents. I didn't. I didn't kill them? <clears throat> that monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. thinking that uh, Aunt Grace might have been was, was the more, more likely killer. <clears throat> I mean, but who knows with this game? Like, nothing nothing seems certain. Still have all my inventory. Tank full of water. Good. If Kamala comes around, I know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. The brain has many different parts. It's like a delicate machine. <laughs> but just... Goes back from oh no I kill my parents to oh uh, uh, just this you know this this kidsy happy go lucky thing again. <laughs> Why does the brain have two sides? Uh, he we would look so funny without skin. <laughs> the spine all humans have that in common. You can always start a conversation like hello we both have a spine isn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm I'm starting all conversations like that from now on. <laughs> Hello, we both have a spine, isn't that awesome? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so it looks like there are two different doors to go through. Um, 
where are we? Is this, is this the, the same building we were just in? Like, does this go back out to the waiting room? Arg, it's locked again. I guess there's no way to go back. I'll always find a way. Okay, uh, time to go the only way we can go, I guess. <clears throat> Dr. Deer? And this midnight. In a cage. Like, uh, like the eyeball said. Syringe? Okay, he's in an electric chair. Um, I think I want to talk to Mr. Midnight first. <laughs> Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why don't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Her. Talking to Mr. Midnight, this isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so he can talk to me again. I'll take you to a third step, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Deer, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Okay, can I talk to him? Dr. Deer, are you all right, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Deer, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Arg, what should I do to wake him up? <laughs> I mean... It appears to be an electric chair, and I'm feeling like pulling the lever is going to like kill him, so maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'll take a look at other stuff, though. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. Uh, X-rays, this must be Dr. Deeren's head. You're all right, Dr. Deeren, no craziness. <laughs> Somebody must be really fond of brains and heads. A syringe. It has red fluid inside. What can it be? The content is the same color as my pills. Can it be? Oh. We're gonna have to inject ourselves here. Don't need this. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, Any colors I pills. Like, is this going to be a choice? You could, like, use it on her or use it on Mr. Midnight or use it on Dr. Deer? Um. What seems like the most likely solution? I don't know. Um. Like, using it on myself might allow me to, uh. See other things. Like, maybe using it on Mr. Midnight will allow him to talk again. <clears throat> Dear, please talk to me. I miss you so much, Mr. Midnight. Say something. Okay, let's just let's try using it on her, I guess. I don't know. Let's let's just see what happens, I guess. I won't even try that. Oh, okay. Just a default message. I don't need this. Okay, so there's nothing else here. Oh. Oh my, these automatic doors. Hmm, it's locked. Okay. So, oh, what's this? Center of Brain Research in Pineal Gland Phenomena. Christine Fun... Hmm? The old story, find the picture behind the door. Huh, okay. I just got an achievement for looking at this picture here. Christine Fontaine... Or is that Fonlin? Clara and Mia Buhomet. Gladys Hanna. Grace and Lucia Dagenhardt. Julian Castillo. Dr. Oswald Harrison. Pineal gland phenomena. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Gladys Hanna was is the old nurse who was looking after us in the asylum. Grace and Lucia Dagenhart. So, I mean. Grace is it's her, it's her aunt Grace, so I guess I guess Lucia is you know Fran's mom's sister. Okay, so I guess they're they're the two sisters here, and I guess Clara and Mia are the 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 two, the two babies here. And I guess this this lady is Christine. So 
So I guess this is uh, Leon and this is uh, Oswald. Um. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Center for Brain Research. Grace and Lucy Dagenhardt, that's my mommy and my aunt. Isn't that the old nurse? Okay, she's got the pentagram symbol again. But yeah, I'm trying to think how this fits into the story. So Leon's a doctor in the facility. Um, okay. Well, okay. Um, can I use a syringe on Dr. Dearn? I, I don't... Maybe she's in this minute. I don't know. It's, Maybe this will wake him up. They just gonna inject him with an unknown substance and hope for the best? I mean, sure, why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Fran. Oh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Boser from the Oswald Asylum? We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh? I guess this is Dr. Oswald Harrison, then? <laughs> I presume? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? And Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well... Many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Is that so? <clears throat> Lucy and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. Is this suggesting that Fran has a, uh, a long-lost twin sister? <clears throat> Is that what's going on here? <clears throat> hmm. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. Remor did a great job. Um, his power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I know. I knew it was Remor all the time, but why is he hunting me? Remor is a manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But... Why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work, but I actually did you a favor. You are suffering, and pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswell, please, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can fi find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. <laughs> Nothing to say about the fact that um, Dr. Dearn is strapped to an electric chair. <laughs> Dr. Dearn is just sitting there through all this like, um, hello, strapped to an electric chair here. Just had an unknown substance injected into my neck. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up please. Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Oh, he's got nothing else to say, I guess. <clears throat> Go with your aunt, friend. Isn't that what you want? I still have the option to click the lever 
for the electric chair. That just that seems like a bad thing to do. Um, so I have a feeling I don't want to do that. I, I guess we're I guess we're gonna follow Aunt Grace. <coughs> Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald wa only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. I'm having trouble making sense of anyone's motivations in this, to be honest. Uh, I'll just keep, just keep going. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Um, I think that's going to be a nope. <clears throat> no, no, kitty! Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he's my friend. You killed my best friend. You also that's helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you love yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Oh. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Pfft. Yeah, yeah, I'm yes, I'm I'm sure Dr. Oswald Harrison wants the best for Fran, right? <laughs> Very convincing. <clears throat> anyway. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. <clears throat> friend, are you all right? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend, Dr. Deer, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. <clears throat> oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I am Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, Ectoprote, Palantras, Monica, Cased. Korska, Itward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Huh? <laughs> Little friend must be cured. I don't remember what voice I gave Palantras before. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. What about all that, that pink fluid that Pound just provided and so on? <clears throat> huh. Oh, what happened? Edward. Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran? Oh, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dearn? Look, this is Edward and Palantras. <clears throat> I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? Uh <laughs> He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. Um, okay. We really must leave now. 
but can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. <coughs> <coughs> Heck, maybe, maybe I would have done him a service to uh, activate the electric chair after all. <coughs> He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him back with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Well, oh, thank you, Palantris. Now let's send Dr. Deeran home. Marcel Deeran Oanum Thekmas Insula Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Deeran. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. He, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. The end, finished Frambo. Okay. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. <clears throat> a game by Kilman Games. Okay, and now we're getting credits. Okay, that's it, I guess. I I, I am confusion a little bit about what what <laughs> all that was at the end. I mean. <clears throat> I still don't know what uh, Oswald was trying to do. Like, something about the brains of twins? But what, what he was trying to do is not clear? Like, was he trying to find out what they could do or what like what like what what was he trying to do like what was his goal here like is it just a generic oh i needed to do experiments like what was he what was he expecting to happen what was he expecting to gain like like he had the feeling that this is his life's work like he's an old man now and uh Like, I mean, he apparently worked with Leon, who was someone who, like, traveled to Athirsta and knew something about other realms and other, you know, types of reality. Um, here has been part of the development journey as motion supporters, fan artists, streamers, and distributors to you. We believe in this. Cool. <clears throat> okay, um, that's it, I guess. I mean, like I said before, when I first, um, 
like be before I started the game the first time, uh, I want to get an idea how long it was. So I said, you know, I, I just Googled how long is the game for Ambo, and it said eight hours or sixteen hours for full completion. Um, which I don't know. I, I don't know where they got the numbers, but um, uh, that implies that there are other choices to be made that I don't know uncover other information. Like maybe there's there are other things they could do. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if there are any places that like really dramatically change the timeline or anything. Um, like I mentioned, like when when I was in the well. Um, you know, with uh, you know Claire and Mia and all that, like I kind of wondered if if uh, you get a different result from doing the uh, you know the the bad version of the ritual. Uh, you know, for example, <laughs> or maybe maybe there's a different result if I like electrocute Doctor Deer. I don't know know if that was even an option. Um, like I mm, um. <clears throat> As it is, it's just it's just kind of confusing. It's just kind of like what even was any of that? <laughs> it, it, it it kind of makes for a bit of an unsatisfactory ending, I guess. Uh now I'm curious, I'm just uh I'm just pulling up the uh Frambo page here. Uh are there are there any other achievements to be had? I have 13 out of 18 achievements, and I'm I'm just kind of curious if I view my achievements. Ah, <clears throat> uh, oh, there's an achievement for feeding the the robot rabbit three carrots. I I gave him two, didn't I? Ah, oh, darn, missed opportunity. Oh well. There's an achievement for the sleepy princess make the guard fall asleep. So okay, so there, so there is a way to uh, to do that. I guess if I probably if I if I'd done things in a different order, um, um, <laughs> maybe I didn't have to like splash hot coffee on him. There's another achievement that says this is Electro Man electrocute the doctor three times. Really? Yeesh. Okay, so maybe I, maybe I can electrocute him. There's one that says check a, a fuga merzenis. I don't know what that means. Like the icon for is a, a, an X. Don't know what that means. And there's one that says I burn you burning rope. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean I can think of a few places where I, I like cut ropes with the knife, but maybe I could have burned it with the matches instead. So okay. Um, yeah, like none of these achievements sound like they're like alternate ending or anything like that. No, like none of these. I mean, I don't know. Um, check a figure of percent. I have no idea what that means. Um, but yeah, none, none of these none of these sound like they would lead to um, uh, 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 like extra information or. More lore that would help make sense of anything. It's annoying that the sound stops every time I click off the window. Maybe I should just leave it off. Um, yeah, just sort of give my final thoughts. I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm. Uh, I don't think it's worth going back and experimenting with it on the off chance that something different happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I that, that, that's yeah, that's that's Frambo, I guess. Um, it, it's it's a neat game. I mean, it, it's uh like the art style is pretty cool. Uh, someone mentioned it's like Tim Burton esque, and yeah, yeah, very much so. It's also very uh, like the Alice in Wonderland uh, sort of themes are. Uh, sort of inspiration was was was, uh, was pretty clear. With it, even before they made it explicit, the the connection with Alice. Um. Uh yeah. Um. Obviously, uh, you know, pretty bloody, pretty gory in a lot of places. Um. Hmm. Uh, 
so I mean, so it's suggesting that Fran is the one that killed her parents, but um, Ramor is the one that convinced her to do it, but also um, Fran's mom was trying to take Fran away from them because because uh, Fran's mom thought that they were uh, they were going to kill her and then and I mean and then they kind of did kill her anyway um, I mean I will just straight up shot Fran And, you know, look, what did Grace mean by referring to Mr. Midnight as a little traitor? Like, what what did, what did the cat do that she deemed to, uh, like, in need of being killed? Um... Like, so much of this doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I, like... I'm, I'm trying to consider character motivations, right? Like, 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 again, like, what were they trying to do? What does any of it mean? I mean, you, you you could brush it off as, oh, you know, it's just crazy zaniness, and it's not supposed to make sense. But you know, they're recurring themes and images and symbols used that make it seem like the, the, the authors, the, the dev team considered those uh, you know those, those images and symbols and so so on important, you know? And if it doesn't mean anything and it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of weird, it just makes it feel unsatisfying I guess. It's just I don't know, maybe is this something that you're supposed to uh, like you're supposed to puzzle over after the fact, and um, consider possibly, like, maybe I need to give it more thought. I don't know. <laughs> I do recall uh, seeing a video. I, I, I didn't watch it, but there, there was, uh, I think, I think, um, uh, uh, um, you know, your like Pat from Game Game Theory had a had some theory about Frambo, although I, 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 I kind of, <laughs> kind of take his theories with a grain of a grain of salt because he, he. he Uh, he has some weird thought processes that aren't necessarily based in logic, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, <laughs> might be worth checking out anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's just, there's just so, there's just so much. Of this doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're uh, coming, if you, if you try to approach it from a <coughs> from a standpoint of considering character motivations, then like any angle I can think of, just falls apart. It, it, it just it just totally falls apart. Like what? What was anyone trying to do? What what does any of it mean? Um, like the fact that they seem to th okay. I don't know. Like like okay. Mister Midnight was seemed to be back to being a regular cat at the end. He was able to speak. Um. So it's kind of like like was was he a non sentient cat all along, and that was just friend's hallucination. And if so, then why did Grace feel a need to uh, kill Mister Midnight at the end? Why did she call him a traitor? You know. Um, I don't know. Like, like Edward and Palin just just showing up out of nowhere feels very Deus Ex Machina. Like they're just they just they just show up. I I, I just like okay. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much I can't make any sense of. Um, I mean, there there is, of course, also the possibility that, like, like you know, Grace and Oswald are just they're just lying. 
and like nothing they said was true. And um, I mean, it, it, it certainly seems true. Uh, it certainly seems uh, like uh, it, the Grace was lying when when she said that uh, um, that uh, also had as uh, you know her uh, uh, you know uh, uh, as as the friend's needs at heart and uh, only wants the best for her yada yada yada. <clears throat> Like it, it sure seemed like uh, he didn't care about her. He just, you know, just, just wanted her brain. He was uh, was willing to, uh, you know, cut open her corpse for to further his experiment and so on. Whatever, whatever that point, the point of that experiment was, that it, it was just never clear. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sitting here puzzling about it, and it's like, I, I don't know. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I. Uh, Care to reload the uh, 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 okay? There's a chapters button here. May sober day, part one to two, vegetative state, or part one and two, and five the house of madness. Okay, I mean, I don't know, I might, I might. Reload the other chapters like off stream just to uh, um, see if I can get those last few achievements. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's worth doing on stream. I, I, I don't uh, I know if it's interesting for me to, to be messing around with that. Um, yeah. Um, I I am curious. I'm just just out of curiosity though. What what is this? Check achievement, a fuga mrzenis, whatever. What does that even mean? So yeah, someone asking how do you get this achievement? It was chip in chapter four. When inside the screen where you do the chemistry puzzle, see the various because there's a checklist on the left and all the ingredients you have to work with are listed save for something short shorted F AFM, which has a, a blank box to signify it's missing. The fire berries are AFM, so just add them to the beaker. They go in and use your green crayon <coughs> on that empty box <coughs> to check off that last ingredient from the list. It should give you that final achievement. Wait, so Basically, it's saying I already did the thing that needed to be done. I just needed to add a check mark to the. Like okay. It, it I I wasn't required to uh, check off anything else on the list. I had no expectation. There, there didn't seem to be any reason for me to uh, to check it off. Okay. Yeah, this is really. Um, yeah, it, it it really seems that that that. Getting all those achievements, um, it doesn't doesn't get me anything. Yeah, it is just okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, again, maybe this is, this is stuff I'm supposed to speculate. Maybe it needs another playthrough. Maybe I need to pay closer attention to dialogue and stuff to make sense of things. Um, but uh, as is, it just feels like a bit of a confusing mess. I, I just, I, yeah, I don't know what anyone's motivations are. Oh well. Anyway, um, that's um, 
but uh, yeah, that's 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 Fambo. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to that, and uh, I can't think of anything. So uh, maybe I'll just go see about who to raid. Um, I um, I also want to you know consider who uh, who I'm going to raid next, and or who I'm going to what, what I'm going to play next. Uh, we're still we're still in spooky months. I, I've been uh, the other game I was thinking of playing was Scorn. Which is uh, you know that whole H.R. Giger esque inspired thing with the um, um, where you're in this weird alien location with where like all the walls are like <laughs> uh, cre you know creepy tentacled monstrosities and it's just uh, it's uh, you know looks like it's very much like, like dripping in atmosphere and stuff and uh just just yeah it looks 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 like a cool game uh i've been want i wanted to check that out for a while hopefully my uh uh processor can handle it um yeah um yeah as, as for uh, like who do uh who to rate i wonder if anyone else is playing frambo Maybe I can, uh, yeah, it looks like there are two other people. One of them does not appear to be English, and the other one says replaying it. So, um, uh, but hey, maybe if they're, if they're, re if they're replaying it, then maybe they already know, uh, <laughs> what's, what the, the game's about, and maybe, uh, Sorry, bear with me here. <clears throat> yeah, it says this is channels and AT plus channels, no minors, please. Um, um, okay, well, I mean, Looks like there's only there's only one viewer viewing my my stream anyway. So uh, whatever, let's let's go raid this person. Um, the the great Doctor Bright. Looks like they're a VTuber. Looks like they're they're late game. They're have in the the Doctor Deer interaction. That's uh, that's fine. Let's yeah let's, let's give him a raid. Um, yeah, this is a short stream today. It's fine though. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I just I feel, I just uh, I just feel weird uh, at the moment. Like it, it's it's like um, it's a cool game, like cool artwork, cool characterizations and stuff. Like lots of you know creepy stuff throughout the game. Uh, it's all good, but uh, the ending was just confusing. It's just I'm, just I'm just I'm just utterly baffled. I'm just at a total loss, and uh, you know, like, like, um, like a bad, a, a, a poorly executed ending can ruin the whole product because the ending is what people remember the remember the most, you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Um, it was it was cool up to that point, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, maybe I need to, need to think about it. It was just uh, I, I'm just uh, I'm just at a total loss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, so yeah, probably probably gonna 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 play Scorn uh, next. Um, whenever I whenever I get around to uh, streaming again, I uh, I'm bad at planning these things out. But uh, that's all for now. Until next time. <laughs>